Gemini, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for December 2018. Before I jump in Gemini, remember the 45,000 subscriber gift is still up but only for a little bit longer so feel free to take advantage of a 15 minute appointment for $15. So click in the description box down below and don't forget the new blog is up. You can also find that in the description box down below or come on over to stormygrace.com. It's got all the major astrological aspects and transits for November, December and moving all the way through 2019. So if you're wanting to find out even more about what's going on in your month, you can definitely come over, take advantage of checking out that information, okay? All right, Gemini, as we get to December, the last month of 2018, Here's the beauty. December is actually a take a deep breath month. We've had so much going on this year and you get to take a deep breath when we get to December. It's actually really lovely. Now, first things first, as we're coming into December, we're coming into it with Uranus, back in the sign of Aries and it's retrograde. Now this lights up your 11th house space. So this is critical and important to pay attention to, not only for December, but all the way until March. But with the focus being here in December, what I would love for you to do is look back over your year. Uranus has already been in Aries in the 11th house area of your chart for seven years. So look back in your friends, your technology, your group interactions, your social social things, things online, and in your long range goals, what kind of progress have you made? Over the last seven years, definitely over the last year, what kind of progress have you made? Where have you come from? Because sometimes you really have to see where you've been to see where you're going. You know what I mean? Now, the other thing I really want you to pay, pay attention to, Gemini, is this month is who still needs to leave your social circle? Right? Are there still some cleaning house people that you've got to let go of? You know, these people you keep trying to interact with them and it's just like you're not getting anything back. It's okay to let people go. It's okay to let projects and long range visions go, go because they're not fitting where you're trying to go. Energetically, you'll kind of see and you'll kind of know. So use this Uranian energy to think outside of the box. And one of the most outside of the box things that we think about is that it's okay to move forward, okay? So keep that in mind as you're traveling through December. Be aware of which people, places, things, and plans it's okay to let go of because they don't match the vision going forward. All right, so we've also got your ruling planet coming direct this month, which is just beautiful because it kind of means you get to come back online. Even if it's not retrograde in your sign, when your ruling planet goes retrograde, it's kind of like, okay? It can be a little bit of a like the air comes out of your balloon. And sometimes that's great for us, but it still feels better when we're back online. So that'll be happening this month as well. Let's break this month down. So right at the beginning of the month on the second, we've got Venus who is not in retrograde anymore. Hey, okay. She is moving into the sign of Scorpio along with Mercury. So this is going to light up your sixth house space. This is work. This is daily routines. Gemini, this is health for you. I just told you Uranus is over in your 11th house. So energetically, in your workspace, in your health space, in your daily routine space, you're going to be making some adjustments here. And Venus is here to bring harmony, bring some delicious, bring some money even, right? There could be romance, but I think that this is a lot more about your esteem this month, your self-esteem, your value, how you make money. Um, your connections and collaborations with those who want to help you make money and definitely around your mental health. It's the end of the year. Gather your mental faculties, your plans and start to pull them together this month and see where the leap can go starting next month, right? And where have you made progress? I still think that's a beautiful theme here with both Venus and Mercury here, even though Mercury is still direct for like three more days. Okay, so we get to the sixth of the month and Mercury, your ruling planet, then comes direct in the sign of Scorpio here with Venus. So we're still got the sixth house energy. So see the thinking and the self-esteem in your sixth house area is gonna start to rise. I do think for some of you, um, you could find freelance work or you could have new projects come to you, but definitely the sense of a healthier, more harmonized daily routine, which creates some mental peace, may be really delicious for you. You're a very mental sign, so I think that's gonna be in your favor. Now, I do want you to keep in mind that even though Mercury's coming direct, and that kind of opens up the opportunities um, to 
sign contracts to make these big decisions um, to get some of the misunderstandings out of the way. Mercury is just coming direct here on the 6th. He's not fully back in his orbit. We still have the other half of Mercury's shadow time. So don't fear that. Just acknowledge it and realize Mercury's waking up. He's got to stretch, have his cosmic coffee, get his life together, and then he'll be ready to pour out full blessings. But this is definitely an opportunity with forward energy to start moving these ideas forward, okay? Now, on the 7th, we've got a new moon happening in Sagittarius, lighting up your 7th house space. We've also got the sun over there, which is where the sun is at. It's bringing light, heat, life, vitality. It says, I want to be seen here. I want to do stuff here. Jupiter is an expansive energy. He wants to expand, and he doesn't want to just expand your thinking. He wants to expand you out. He says, take your gifts out and go to the world. Then here on the 12th, we've got Mercury coming into Sagittarius as well. So what what this locks in for us, Gemini, is this new moon energy of new beginnings. At the new moon, we plant the seeds of intention. What's the new stuff? We're bringing in new energy here. It's the change of the 28-day cycle. So we've got new things coming here, and you want them to come. The sun has told us that you want them there, and then the new moon. Mercury is bringing the conversation to the table. So this could be new relationships coming into your life, breathing new life into relationships you've already had in your life. It's pretty great when you um, clear out the friends and the social things that are not working. You have time and energy for those in front of you, right? So you could have those relationships getting some life. I would also think here, with Mercury being here as well, you may be having a conversation maybe about a contract or some kind of new relationships some kind of new joining that could be on the way um, in the next four weeks, okay? Now, on the 22nd, we've got a full moon happening in the sign of Cancer. Now, the full moon says that we have to end something, acknowledge something, or adjust something. So there's going to be a shift in the energy, right? Now, with the full moon being in Cancer, this lights up your second house space. So this is the house of how you make money for yourself, a talent that you have, your self-esteem, your material, physical possessions. Now, with a full moon, a full moon can temporarily dry up the this area so you could see some financial loss or some financial quiet happen that is definitely a possibility but it also I think if that happens and even if it doesn't happen I think one of the things it brings to the table is this idea of how can you nurture cancer and stimulate um, full moon adjust this area of your life do you have a talent do you have a skill do you have a product is there an adjustment that needs to be made to a product or something that you have that you can actually make money on? Is your self-esteem in the way here? Because it might be time to put that in the fuck it bucket and move on. You're smart, you're talented, you have something to give. Even if you're afraid, just do it, right? So it could very much so be that energy bringing an adjustment here. But ultimately, the idea is to give new nurturing to your second house space and let some of the old stuff go. Give this area life, okay? On the 22nd, we've got the sun coming into Capricorn. Now, this is going to light up your eighth house space. So you see, as we get to the end of the month, money matters, how you make money, how you share money, where you're jointly related. Money matters come to the table from the 22nd of the month on, okay? Now, with this um, sun moving into Capricorn, remember, the sun says, this is where I want to be seen. This is where I want to shine. This is how I want to be known. So here at the end of the month, what you've got is this great opportunity between that full moon and the sun movement to collaborate, 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 collaborate. But what this is going to take from you, Gemini, is a heck of a lot of trust. You've got to trust your intuition. You've got to trust your work. And you've got to try and trust the people slash new relationships that are coming in. And you can create something new. Now, this doesn't have to be in a business sense. Maybe this is you start a group or you have a friend come into your life. You have a new friend, right? Maybe this just really increases the intimacy in your relationship or helps to bring issues to the surface that need to be handled, right? Ultimately, the giving and receiving ends of your life are going to be very activated at the end of the month. So do your best to see that you're establishing some balance there, okay? All right, Geminis, I hope you have an absolutely beautiful December. I look forward to seeing you across the little bridge here to 2019. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe if you want to know what December or anything else is looking like for you. Come and have a reading with me, okay? I will see you guys next month. Bye.